Good morning, Mariah Lucian Lauder again, one of the information officers here uh, again this morning at the McKinley Fire. And I noticed a little bit of a, a chill in the air this morning, and it still has our beanie on too, but it felt good. Didn't it? Yeah, it wasn't too bad actually. Yeah. Uh, so today we want to just talk about donations, and we've had a lot of questions on donations. The communities have been extremely, extremely generous on donations, and we want to just clarify where to take those donations. Uh, the disaster assistance centers and the Sheep Creek Lodge is not able to actually take donations. Just the sheer volume would probably overwhelm those two locations. But Liv, what, where can we take donations? What does that look like? So yeah, like Mariah said, we've had an overwhelming response from the community wanting to support not only victims of the fire, but firefighters as well. We've had a lot of questions about where can we, what can we bring to the firefighters, where can we bring it, and then as far as the community goes, we have, we have food, we have clothing, we have building materials, where can these things go? So as far as the firefighters go, I want to address that. Firefighters here at McKinley Fire are very well taken care of. They have more food than they probably need. They have everything they need to keep them going for a two-week assignment. So we've had, this community has been awesome. We've had hundreds, if not thousands, of postcards donated, and almost all of those have made it out to friends and family in the lower 48 and here in Alaska. And that's just been, that's been tremendous. But at this time, the firefighters don't need really anything else. They love your support, their thank you notes, your banners, your cards. We have some amazing letters from some of the school kids here, which is awesome. Awesome. So that that's what keeps us going, you know, in these days as they get longer and colder. And that's really that's really awesome. And then as far as donations for victims of the fire, like Mariah said, a couple of the places that were accepting donations are not any longer. So Sheep Creek Lodge can't accept donations anymore. They've moved that operation elsewhere. But what we have done is establish a semi-permanent uh, location for donations to be gathered all together and they'll be dispersed from there and that's the Ritchie Brothers uh, auctioneers in Wasilla. The address there is 7450 West Parks Highway in Wasilla and that's open on Thursdays. Now every Thursday from 10 to 2 that's going to be open. So moving it, moving forward just remember Thursdays. Today's Thursday. They're open today and moving ahead for the next few weeks and definitely that's going to be the gathering spot for donations of clothing, building supplies, kind of those dry goods other than food, you know, that the, the community is going to need moving forward. And there definitely is going to be a need. So if you get on our website, akfireinfo.com, there's more information there about ways to volunteer. The Matsu Coad and United Way have some volunteer options. And so we've gathered some of that information and you should find it on AK Fire Info or on the Facebook pages of those groups. But anyway, that's that's kind of where we're headed for now. So just remember Richie Brothers Auctioneers in Wasilla today from 10 to 2 and every Thursday moving forward. Great, that's excellent information, and thank you, Richie Brothers, for opening up that facility and, and um, providing that to the community as well. So with that, just checking in with Mark behind the camera. Any questions out there, uh, anything that we can provide additionally? No comments. Everybody can hear us this time? <laughs> right on. <laughs> All right, and anything to add? Anything that we missed? All right, thank you, guys, um, and we'll see you back this afternoon. Can you just wave at me and I'll bring it over? Okay.